hey fellow babies uh apologies for my cold and cough i may cough while i'm talking but uh, thanks for joining us on packer factor on sifted.net if you are watching it real time it's because you're either a patreon patron and we appreciate your patronage or because you are a subscriber to our youtube channel we appreciate that as well um, or if you have done neither of those, uh, or even if you have done both of those, um, you can link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account, and we get paid by Amazon. It uh, costs you nothing. So please check the instructions in the show description, and it'll help you figure out how to get money so Shane can keep filming these things. From Sifted from Peter. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Peter. Um, what are your plans for the holiday? Um, any games you plan to dive into over the break? I'm going over to my friend Mark Del Rosario's house. Mark runs Del Rosario Meats, so he gets uh, the freshest of turkeys, and he also got us a ham. And so they, they just moved over on the uh, Long Beach Peninsula, the, so it's gonna, we have ocean views and uh, beautiful, it should be a beautiful day. The weather's really nice right now. So I'm gonna hang out with my friends, the Del Rosarios, and it's just gonna be my kids, their kids, and our two families. So it should be good. I have to tell you, I suck. So um, I have a Switch, and I have a Switch OLED, and my daughters both moved out this this uh, summer, this past summer, and one of them took the Switch, and I have the Switch OLED in a box up there with about 20 game codes to to play Pokemon and, and Metroid and whatever else is new this week. Uh, but I've got all sorts of stuff, haven't started. Uh, Shane bought me a PS5, and I'm just adamant that I not uh, hook up my PS5 until I get an OLED TV, which I don't have. Um, I do have an Xbox hooked up, and I haven't tried the Halo beta, and there's actually no Xbox games I want to play. I'm not a racing guy, so Forza doesn't interest me at all. Um, if anything, I do have a copy of Cyberpunk. I might, like, fire that up, but I don't really care. Um, but my problem is I'm really particular about the games that I get into, and... I've had enough Call of Duty, I've had enough FIFA Madden. Uh, the only sports game I actually like is NHL, and I've played that in probably five or six years. Um, I'm a big Bethesda Games fan, and I probably would play Deathloop, but I but I don't have it, so I'll have to figure out how to buy it. And again, that's there's really nothing I care about. So, bad time of year for me, because uh, there's just nothing I care about. I'm behind on reading, so I'm gonna probably crack open a couple of books that I bought in the last year. I'm gonna probably really seriously just work through the holidays, let my associates all take weeks off. I've got one taking two weeks off, and the other two each taking a week off. So I'm going to probably work every day until next year, then see if I can handle traveling. Uh, going to CES in January, going to DICE in February. Um, I understand GDC's back on. I think that's March. I'm not sure what, what the month is yet, but I, I think it'll be back on. And then I'm hoping that we have E3. I promised Shane I would get an OLED TV, and of course we kind of ran into supply chain issues and the TVs are expensive and you can't get the one I want. So I'm going to wait until I can get uh, a good sized LG OLED for, for a reasonable price. And then I will get my PS5 hooked up and I will start playing PlayStation games. And I've got a few of those backed up as well. You know, I've never finished an Elder Scrolls game. So if the next Elder Scrolls game comes out, I've always, like, I always get bored with dragon fighting. So I don't play Dragon Age either. I could play them, like, for an hour or two and then I kind of get bored. But I think the next Elder Scrolls game will be special because they've been working on it for, I don't know, 20 or 30 years now. Uh, <laughs> those guys crack me up. I think, I think the last one was, like, 09. Probably 08 or 09. Uh, 10? Yeah, it was it was in there. Uh, I actually remember I was in a taxi and because uh, we you know drive when we go to uh, uh, out to drink and we're gonna drink. And I was in a taxi and we went by a GameStop on a Thursday night and the taxi driver goes, yeah, all those people are in line because you know Elder Scrolls uh, was uh, not Marlow. It was the last one. Uh, Skyrim. Skyrim. Oh, it's called Skyrim is coming out tonight. And I'm like, fuck, it's Thursday. Like, oh, yeah, of course <laughs> it's coming out, you know, first thing Friday morning. Um, but there was a line at a GameStop. So that, that's, that tells you how long ago that thing is. People actually went and lined up for physical goods. And I wasn't taking an Uber because Uber didn't exist. So it was probably 2010. <laughs> Um, that I just faithfully remember that thinking, God, people lined up at midnight uh, at a game. That's when I was coming home. Um, yeah, so that's probably the game I'm looking forward to the most. 
You know, I'm not a big Rainbow Six guy. Um, really, I'm not a big shooter guy. So to me, it's more like uh, you know, turn-based strategy, RPG kind of games. Um, I will play Diablo 4 when that comes out. That That's my kind of game. Um, and I will get into that and I will do my best to find everything, which is probably impossible. Um, if anything, you know, I've, I've been kind of holding off, but I should play Diablo 2 Resurrected. I played in, in one of the alphas. Um, for like an hour, it's super fun. Um, but you know, I, I played Diablo 2, how old is that game? 2000. You know, so I played Diablo 2 20 years ago. Um, and actually, looking forward to Diablo Immortal, I would play that. I'm a big Diablo guy. That's my that is my kind of game. My pace, I can actually do well at that game. You know, it's not not particularly fast switch. I suck at fast switch, it's like really hard. <laughs> what about Starfield next year? doesn't interest me. Does it interest you? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, see, yeah, that's... If you like Fallout and Elder Scrolls, why wouldn't you like Starfield? I don't like Elder Scrolls, so maybe I will. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. You just what? said it was the one game you are excited to play. No, because I just think they've taken all this time, and each time they make an Elder Scrolls, the game is better than the one before. Um, but I'm, I just, because I love them. I, yeah, Starfield, I don't know. If, is Starfield really them? I don't even know. It is, yeah. It's, yeah. it's our next big game. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. But I mean, is it really, is it like yeah. Todd? Is it, it? Yeah, oh, it's Todd's like pet project. I'll probably read about it. And then it'll, like, it's sort of like Fallout. Until Jeremy Hoffman told me, trust me, you will like this game. Play it, Fallout 3. Because I never liked, I didn't like one or two. And then Jeremy's like, no, 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 trust me. And it was like a year after it came out. I think I bought that's probably probably bought it when Skyrim came out. I bought it in no, I bought it in ten. It came out in 09. and I couldn't stop playing the game. So Jeremy is right. So so I'm more of a word of mouth guy. If it, and word of mouth, not reading reviews. If someone tells me, no, this is your kind of game, because guys know what I like, then sure. If somebody, if you tell me, Shane, to buy Starfield, I will. But right now, it does, uh, Deathloop doesn't interest me, but it looks like it's going to be game of the year. You know, so I mean, it's nominated for everything. It just it uh, it looks funky and like it looks fun, but stupid fun. But people are saying it's really great. So I don't know. That, I I'm more likely to play that than anything, just because it's it's those guys. It's not the same guys. But okay, thanks for joining us on Packer Factor. And if you are a Patreon patron and watching on Sifted.net, we appreciate it. If you are uh, a subscriber to the YouTube channel and paying up for that, then thank you so much. It's keeping us in macaroni and cheese um, if you have done neither of those or even if you have please remember to link your amazon prime account to your twitch prime account pretty easy to do you just have to re-up it every month so that we get paid and that the instructions are in the show description and at a minimum you must follow me on twitter at michael pactor thanks for joining us see you next time